Now, smiley sister, you know you wrong, baby. You know you wrong. Mariah Lynn had nothing to do with you losing that baby. If anybody is to blame, sis, it's you. Okay? Let's talk about it. Because this is a big deal. Let's go. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Welcome back. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm in a good mood today. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's up, y'all? My name is Big Mouth, and this is my channel. If you have not been here before, baby, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe for me, baby. Subscribe for me, baby. Let me see your grill. <laughs> girl, I'm going to sell some albums for Nelly or, some, or something. I don't know, girl. But anyway, make sure you turn on a post notification so you can be alerted when I upload a new video, girl. Let's talk about this, girl, because I am up over this one, okay? So, y'all knew, I knew, we knew that when um, all of this happened with Smiley, you know, allegedly losing her baby, having an MC on the show, that eventually she was going to come out trying to blame somebody, probably Mariah, Mariah Lynn, because they ended up getting in a fight, you know, days. I think she said it was like a day or two before she ended up having the MC. So... Smiley just went live today and, um, today or yesterday, I don't know when she did this live, but they uploaded it today, girl. And basically she said that, uh, she had, you know, some, some feelings towards Mariah for what Mariah said in her confessional. And, you know, Mariah was like basically shading her for wearing a skirt and dancing and twerking after she just had an MC. And, you know, one thing about that, <clears throat> well, let me finish, then I'll circle back to that. And then she went on to say that she blames Mariah for her MC. She blames it on Mariah and she blames Mariah for losing her baby. Birds, ho. It's 2020. It's 2023, baby. We don't play like that no more. We don't we don't fight. I don't need to fight. We don't need to fight. Bitch, you can't hit with that. Brr, 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 brr. Ho, I'm sick of your I'm tired of your I'm tired of you. I am tired of you, Mariah. I'm telling you. years old sit so damn i heard you can't even have kids that's what i heard i heard you can't i, I, I heard you can't have kids and that's a word through the vine and that's a shame you talk about me and how i lost the baby at least i got right now i love kids i love kids and i will have so many I, I, listen it hurt me to know i had a miscarriage it hurt me because i want a big family but guess what? I, I, I blame you. I lost my baby because of you. I lost my baby because of you. I feel like I, I was just so hungry. So you owe me one. I lost my baby because of you now. And you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. Now, I'm just... I, I, I. I'm going to address Mariah and then I'm going to address Smiley because I feel like I'm going to go a little bit harder on Smiley. So I just want to get Mariah on out the way. Now, Mariah, I'm going to be for real, sis. You ain't got no right speaking on her MC. You don't. As her cast member, you know, as somebody who was in the house with her and you didn't say nothing to her about that then, you know, and that's the, that's starting to be a theme with y'all baddies. You know what I'm saying? After the season, y'all just want to keep coming out and, and having all of these opinions. And y'all know they film confessionals after the season. So y'all going back in to do confessionals, running y'all mouth, saying everything you couldn't say when you was, or, or didn't say, or wouldn't say when you were on the show. And then, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just weird. So, Mariah, you could have said all of this to her when she was on that phone, you know what I'm saying, in the hospital or when she had came back and she was upstairs in the room, you know, uh, uh, with Tzatziki and they didn't go out that night. You could have said it then. You could have said it whenever. Wait, no, she couldn't have said it then because they wasn't in the same house, I don't think. Were they in the same house? I think they were. Whatever. You could have said it. 
You could have said you had plenty of time to say it. You was around Smiley. Smiley came to the go-kart thing. You had plenty of time to, to, to confront her about this MC if you thought it was fake, if you thought she shouldn't have been, if she if you thought she was not acting, you know, um, um, in accordance with someone who had an MC. If you whatever you felt, you could have said it to her. Why now? Why now? Like, why you got all of this to say? And furthermore, Mariah, that's not your place. Like, it's just not your place to be saying stuff because. Okay, we all think it's fake. We the fans. Let us spectate. But you being somebody who was so close to her in the house, I know y'all wasn't friends, but you were in close proximity to her when it happened. And you know what I'm saying? If it is true, you know, if Smiley comes to this reunion with paperwork or documents from the hospital, you know, proving that she did have an MC and everything like that, you're going to feel real bad for all of this stuff that you're saying. You know what I'm saying? About her in these confessionals and things of that nature. Like I said, let the fans spectate. We weren't watching the show. That's what we're supposed to do. Coming from somebody on the show, it just look a little insensitive. Um, moving on. Smiley. Since Mariah Lynn had nothing to do with you losing your baby. First of all, it's not Mariah Lynn's fault that you came in there dressed, uh, dressed like Tupac, okay? Uh, uh, thinking you, uh, thinking you were Suge, Big Suge. Thinking you was about to just wreck shop on her. It's not her fault that you did that. It's not her fault you came in blazing. It's not It's not her fault. You know what I'm saying? You came in there swinging. You didn't come in there to talk. You didn't come in there to have a conversation. You didn't come in there with a smile on your face. Inviting me. Inv I said inviting me. Girl, Lord Jesus. I got to stop smoking. Inviting or welcoming or any of, any of those things. You came in there ready for war. So Mariah didn't know you was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Apparently you didn't even know. So how could it be her fault that you lost your baby? If anybody's fault that you lost your baby, it's your fault, okay? It's your fault. You know, um, I'm not going to say it's, it's your fault for not knowing you was pregnant because I know that happens to women sometimes. But it's your fault for coming in there fighting. You came in there and fought. You know what I'm saying? You came on baddies. I don't know if you had symptoms of a pregnancy or not, but you came on baddies and you fought and you lost your baby. You need to take some kind of a personal responsibility and accountability in the situation. And here's why, Smiley. If you did lose a child, you know what I'm saying? You going to feel guilty about that for the rest of your life until you take some kind of responsibility in the situation. And the reason why is because when you sit here and point the finger at everybody else and you can't accept any of the blame and those people won't accept the blame, it leaves you in a, um, a void, okay? A gray area where you just like, I can't come to grips with what happened and this person won't accept the blame, so I have nobody to blame because they won't say, you know, it was my fault or whatever the case is. And then you just can't forgive yourself. You just in this void, in this paradox where you just going back and forth of, of pain, you know, you can't accept it. They won't accept it. And nobody just, the blame don't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? It's just up in the air and at that point. And then you just feel defeated by the situation and you feel really depressed and ultimately. So the thing about it is you accepting a little bit of personal responsibility saying, you know what? That was my baby. It was in my stomach. I came on that show that I knew it was about fighting. I didn't know I was pregnant and I lost my baby. That's on me. You know what I'm saying? You saying that it's going to place that blame. It's going to give you some closure because you're going to be able to say, you know what? I could have done things differently. I'm going to learn from this situation and I'm going to move on with my life. My baby is in heaven and you know, things of that nature. It gives you a little bit of closure. It helps you move on with your life. But all of this pointing the finger, blaming this person, blaming that person, you can't blame yo. You can't blame nobody. You can't blame production. You can't blame Mariah Lynn. You can't blame Natalie Nunn. You can't blame the doctor. You can't blame nobody but Smiley, boo. That was your baby. That was your body. It was nobody else's fault. Nobody else knew. Now, one thing I do want to say about this, though, is Krishan Rock, take a good look at this situation. You know... I know that it wasn't ideal how Krishan left the show, you know, after getting to Seeky Jumped and everything like that and just not want to deal with the whole situation and kind of running away from it. That's how I saw it. But I think that was God in a way because it got her off that show. It got her away from people throwing eggs at her stomach. It got her away from a potential MC. You know what I'm saying? It got her away from, oh, well, it would have been a steal at that point. But, you know, it got her away from that. It got her out of that dangerous environment. And, Krishan, I want you to look at this situation with Smiley, whether it be fake or real or whatever the case is. Just look at it because this could have been you. You know, it could have been you, boo. And, 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 and let this be a lesson to everybody that we need to act mature 
in these situations. We need to think about, you know what I'm saying, all circumstances before we put ourselves in violent situations like this, especially with like baddies, bad boys club, uh, uh, South Central baddies, the Playboy show, all of these kind of shows, Zodiac House, Deja Vu, all of these kind of shows where you know you're going on there to fight. Make sure your health is in, is in order. Make sure you go get a checkup first. Make sure you go to your doctor, get a physical and everything like that. And why are these networks not asking for physicals before? Because if a doctor had did a physical on Smiley, I had to do a physical before I pledged to join my fraternity to make sure we was okay. They made my whole line go get physicals. How the hell is a college fraternity making people go get physicals, but a whole damn TV network is not? Because had Zeus made those girls get physicals, they would have caught that pregnancy. That doctor would have caught that pregnancy. And this would have never happened. So, um... Honestly, to tell you the truth, smiley hell. If you want to, no, I'm just playing. I ain't going to do that. But, um, yeah, sis, y'all got to do better over there. Y'all got to do better. Y'all got to make these women get checkups and make these men get checkups before they go on these shows. Because just as well as uh, Mariah, uh, uh, Smiley not knowing she was pregnant, what if this, let's change gears. What if this was Bad Boys Club and one of them had a heart condition they didn't know about that could have been caught during a physical or EKG and then they get hit and they have, you know, going to cardiac arrest or something. These are things that can happen. So I do want y'all to think about that. Um, and yeah, let's all be safe out there, okay? Because this is some crazy stuff. Smiley, get it together, baby. And please go get some help. Go to therapy. You need therapy. You need therapy. Do not try to handle this on your own, sis. It's going to take you under, okay? I'll talk to you later, baby. I love you. Smiley, baby. And um, Mariah Lynn, please don't let don't feel bad about that. That ain't your fault. It has nothing to do with you, okay? All right, y'all. Bye.